Hi friends, in this video we're going to discuss aniline leather, the difference between dyeing a handbag and painting a ha handbag. And this all refers to the vintage coach handbags. This bag here, all of the vintage coach handbags were made out of aniline leather. And what that is, is it's a dye process. They're made out of full grain cowhide, but once it's aniline, you can't get no better. It's top, it's top of the line. This bag here is very, very close to the condition that this bag was when it first was purchased many years ago. You can see on the bag that there is no high shine, just a light sheen to the bag. You see that? Many of your coach bags don't stay in this condition. Over time, like a baseball glove, it, it uh, gets a patina and from oils and from conditioning and so on, it turns to a high shine like this one. And I've seen them with a higher shine than this. Have you ever seen a, a vintage coach bag that feels oiled and really super shiny? That's because the leather had been, it changes over the years. Aniline, with aniline, you can see the bug bites and, uh, you know, it, it, it penetrates through the whole leather. It doesn't sit, it's a dye and it doesn't sit on the bag like paint. Take, for instance, this wallet. This is a painted wallet. And the paint just sits on the surface. It doesn't penetrate. And it covers up scars and grain and all that. This is one of my daughter's wallets, so I figure I'd uh, grab it and use it to uh, demonstrate. Let me see something here. In time, this paint that's just sitting on the surface will rub off. And you can see it's a treated a treated uh, leather. It's been stamped. You can't see any grain. On a dyed handbag, you will see the grain. And it still helps the leather to breathe. It doesn't clog the pores. You can still see bug bites and... Uh, it's, it's by far better to dye a bag than to paint a bag. That's why a lot of people, they ask if the bag has been painted. Because a lot of people, including me, will avoid a bag that's been painted. Now this bag here, Coach got their ideal, their leathers, from a baseball glove. And, you know, when you first, now this is, I don't know how the baseball gloves are today, but vintage, back in the day, when you got a new baseball glove, it was, uh, you know, like a matte finish. There was no super high shine to the mitt. In time, the glove would soften up, get a patina, and uh, with oils from your hands and conditioner, it, the glove will be a little shinier. I should have grabbed a bag that's super shiny that I just gotten in the mail the other day. I need to uh, strip that bag down and redo it. But that's the difference between dyeing a bag and painting a bag. The paint just sets on the surface, whereas dyeing penetrates through the leather, and it doesn't cover up the veins, the the grain in the leather, the bug bites, or any of that, which paint will. Paint will cover up all that, and it just sets on the surface. The bag of the day is my all-time very favorite bag out of any, any brand on earth. This is the Vintage Coach Caressant Bleaker Saddle Bag. And as many of you know, I absolutely love this bag. This is my all-time favorite favorite right here and uh, I've got videos on this bag if you want to check that out but that's the bag of the day 
Stay safe, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye.